Hello and welcome to BMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to perform deep discovery of VMware guest host. For this demo, let's take a look at this appliance with discovery version 23.3 version. Let's log in with system user. BMC Discovery enables you to discover the guest OS that are managed by vCenter. Even if those hosts are not accessible from the appliance or BMC Discovery Outpost. So first, let's scan the vCenter. Let's go to Manage and Credentials. Click on Add and select vCenter. Let's enter the detail of vCenter credentials. Save the credential. Once the vCenter credentials are created, let's go to Manage and Discovery. Click on Add New Run. Select this appliance. Enter the IP address of the vCenter. And this is the option which will allow you to perform VMware guest scanning. For now, we will keep this disabled and scan only the vCenter. Here we can see the increased endpoints. And the scan is completed successfully. Let's click on recent runs and open the discovery run. Here we can see that the three hosts are discovered with this vCenter scan. First one is the VMware vCenter server and the two ESXi host. Let's take a look at the VMware vCenter server discovery access first. Here we can see that the scan of the vCenter is completed successfully, which caused two implicit scans. And here we can see these two ESXi host. Let's click on one of the host. Here you can see that these are scanned because of the implicit scan of the vCenter. Let's click on Info Identity. This is the ASXI server which is hosting two virtual machines. These are the guest hosts running on this particular ASXI server. Now we will see how BMC Discovery discovers other guest hosts managed by the vCenter. VMware Guest Scanning uses the Guest Operation Manager API which interacts with the VMware tool service on the guest VM. And in order to scan them, along with the vCenter credential, you need VMware Guest Credential. Let's go to Manage and Credentials. The VMware Guest Credentials are the credential of the guest host OS level user, such as SSH, Windows or PowerShell access. To create them, click on Add and first we will select the SSH type credentials. Here we will enter the details, username, password and to enable the guest scan, click on plus icon and add the option VMware Guest. Click on apply and save the credential. Now let's create the same for Windows. Let's add the details of username, password. Click on plus icon and select the option VMware Guest. We will also add the PowerShell credential type and click on apply and save the credential. Let's go back to manage and discovery. Click on add new run. Let's enter the IP address of the vCenter. And this time, we will select the VMware Guest Scanning option as Enabled. Click on OK. Here you can see the newly discovered endpoints. In order to perform VMware Guest Host Scan, VMware Guest Scanning uses the Guest Operation Manager API, which interacts with VMware Tool Service on the Guest VM. VMware Tool must be installed and running in order to perform this operation. And the vCenter account needs specific permission. The virtual machine guest operation privileges required are guest operations dot modify, dot execute, and dot query. The scan is finished. Let's click on recent runs and open the discovery run. Here we can see that with the VMware guest scanning option enabled, the total number of hosts discovered are five. This is the vCenter server, the two ESX hosts that we have discovered, and these are the guest host. Let's take a look. Here we can see that for the hypervisor where previously there were two virtual machine related, now there are two virtual hosts. And these are those guest hosts. Let's open one of them. Go to related and open the discovery access. Here we can see that the host is scanned with its endpoint. And the credential used are vCenter and the VMware guest credential, which we have created earlier. And all the scripts are executed with the VMware Guest API. 
For more details about this use case, prerequisites and the required permission, please refer to our online documentation. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.